Shall we begin? And off we go. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? Oh. I see. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial, and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you'll do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready.
You gonna watch my back? Yeah. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been no, seen no, no. We got this guy. You just closed yourself up into a nut. <laughs> I were going to already. I'm coming for you! should be well within your power to climb. Your discomfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here. And even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody feel me dead. Who are the Gi? The tribe. Few people outside of the veil. The rest you will learn in due time. Of that you can be certain. For now, let us proceed. Hey, where'd you run off to?
Damn if that doesn't look convenient. Here you know. Where'd you run off to?
is a key. It's huge. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the key, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, we'll do. Seek the relic of our past. Carry it forth and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Most would call that materia. But it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. Yes, an armament of the Fae. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body.
remnant of our struggles, of our desires. you fought was a fallen key. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Are these altars? Interesting, because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? Oh. <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place.
is intertwined with the Gili, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Nanaki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it? And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with ready to descend upon the village, determined to protect the way. He from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent.
this thing. How oh, indeed? I guess Nanaki.
gotta love it. Don't say I didn't want it. Oh Stop. yeah, another one in the bag. those altars. <laughs> there is a similarity, yes. But this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as beautiful as the winds. But for now, Malachi, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth.
charge once more! Do not underestimate this foe! about an axe to grind. Why the hell is this thing fisted up? Ah! Oh, you go feel this thing! Ah! 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 become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? Oh, oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified.
the Watcher of the Veil vale fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait. Is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh. oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid, because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Veil once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Mama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. But no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, Watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our veil.
My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. <sighs> the warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. Turn of events, indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. <laughs> no, this one's free. Within that bee's flesh is a tumult of emotion. See to it that Nanaki remains safe. Oh, 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 oh. Our world is filled. We will escort fellow who take care, friends. Please look after Nanaki. Blessings of the planet be upon you all. Uh, can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of it in my wits here. I don't know. This bee dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but he knows what he's doing. Stay alert. The home of the Gee lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I wanna move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you 
are indeed one of them. By lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only... It isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Hmm. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me, or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? Come on. The trains are down. The guy's desperate to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. Huh. Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A zack of all trades. Why? Because one's not enough. I always think about it. punishment for using too much mako yeah that's gotta be it is it true Excuse me. get a load of this okay let's see the destruction of sector 7 was orchestrated by shinra themselves we can't let those murderers get away with it people of midgar Fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Pedal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. 
Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who'll risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. I wonder how that rift looks to all the folks topside. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like, a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah? Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh... How long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. So... What do you think's gonna happen to our baby? I have don't so know. much to be grateful for. A loving partner. Wonderful children. Take one of us next. Let's make it. I just hope I can put on a good smile. You know, well, isn't hmm? that just perfect? I think or I prefer being number two or three. Bigger suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go camping? Like, the guy who only has to worry about the how and doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? You were the guy with Karen, uh, right? Whoever brought you come back, on, I guess. I assume okay. there was someone. Let's all dance. Who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. Hell with it! Let's just do what we want. Start by robbing folks and stocking up on kids. It's just up ahead. Okay, Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you.
It's a start. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Who I just saw, Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? No. Uh, sorry, forgot to ask. Ah. Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. you, wasn't it? Hello in there.
Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. To the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean. Are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both.
y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. I think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Materia is. We can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along.
those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. Huh? Mm. Alas, it appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Ah, uh, I guess we're back. Yeah. We need to get moving. Right! I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. It's good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. 
But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? No. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth is there, I'll believe you. to assume he is. Set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... What did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I... didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Nanaki! Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. I'm not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Ain't that... Ratifa and I grew up. Ah! Oh, of course! Nibelheim has a terminal. I bet my whiskers on it. It, uh... Out. Remember when you told Gein attack back there? That might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, 
well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me, that I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. It may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? We should have done something when we had the chance. There's no point lamenting choices made long ago. We must focus our efforts on the future, on ensuring the canyon and the people here remain safe. A seminar. 